here we are today bringing you a comforter I just made. Now if you're wondering why not so many videos have been going up in the past few weeks, it's because I'm busy with this. Now there's a big story behind this one. I had somebody who came over and they says, we know you crochet and we have this beautiful crochet bedspread that was made but a dog got the best of it. Can you repair it? Well, I've never repaired anybody else's work. I knew the grandma. It was a grandma who was no longer with us that had made it and passed it on to a niece and it got destroyed. Things that dogs do. So I says, well, I'll give it a try. So I did. And while I was at it, I decided, well, if I'm making these beautiful flowers, I'm going to turn around and learn how to make them myself. So I've always been one that show me, don't have me read it from the book and be able to follow. It might have something to do with the French English in me. <laughs> you know, so directions are a little bit difficult, but show me and you never have to show me a second time. So I wrote it down each step. And so I decided, well, I have a granddaughter that's very, very special to me. So I'm going to make one for her and put it in her hope chest. Because in my bedroom, I have a hope chest with horses, because that's her love, is horses. And I'm going to put it in there so she'll always have something. And I told her that whenever she feels in life that she needs an extra hug, wrap herself up in it, and then she'll have an extra hug from me. So it's a beautiful one. It's super big. There are 70 squares in this, believe it or not. 70 flowers, 70 squares. So it was kind of cool. And I find that it's easier to do squares because you're not always tugging on it. You know, when you turn around, start the next row. This is a lot easier and you only have one day of frustration, which is when you're putting it all together. That's the only time. So doing it like this in squares is so much easier and... Uh, it's really easy on your back and everything, uh, especially when you get on in age like I am. So I love the fact that I could do it easy like this. That was kind of cool. And it's full of flowers. Because when I painted her bedroom, when she got a new bedroom and everything, it's like one wall. When, and this is when she was little, like five, six years ago. So she would have been, you know, six maybe. And because uh, she's 12 now. Uh, one wall she wanted a rainbow, so I did a rainbow. I painted one wall all rainbow. Then I painted another wall with the mountains and a whole bunch of flowers and the clouds and the sun, you know, the whole thing. So, and then I made toy boxes for them to have that are really super big with all the animals and everything on it. So, this kind of goes in with that whole flower thing. Bright, flower, festive so we got some nice bright colors in here and there are 70 squares in all and then we go around after and we put in this extra three around this uh, all the way around three extra and the reason for this is to help hold it together so through washings and wear and tear it doesn't lose its shape so that's the whole idea of these three going around and you have to do that Otherwise, you know, it's really, really out of shape. And when you look at it on a bed, it'll be, you know, just like waves like that. You don't want none of that. So always go around. And I gave it three. Just for extra because it's a really big blanket. So I use the turquoise, the white, and then another row of turquoise after i done all of this. So I just wanted to show you what I've been up to. And then I'm very proud of it. And she loves it right to death. She thought, oh, wow, look at all these flowers. Then when I told her I needed 70 of them, so, you know, because I measured it according to my bed and everything to see how many squares I would need in order to make it so it could fit a bed like mine. And uh, it ended up 70. So here is 70. It's very beautiful. And I'll put a top picture of her with me with it. As soon as she wakes up, she's still sleeping. So I hope you've enjoyed my bringing it to you and showing you what I've been up to. Alrighty, bye-bye now.